Hello. Welcome to Car Expert YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. The 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia puts some practical meat on the bone for American drivers bored of the usual Audi A4 slash Mercedes C class slash BMW 3 Series suspects. Even better. The new Italian-made sedan comes packed with some heavy artillery, the top Quadrifoglio model offering 505 horsepower and returning a 3.8 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour run as well as a shockingly quick Nurburgring Nord's lifetime of 732, which, for the record, makes it the fastest four-passenger production car around the 12.9 mile circuit. For context, that's 6 seconds quicker than a Lamborghini Gallardo LP 574 Superlegra, and a full 20 seconds faster than a BMW M4. When you go to get in, there's a slight chance of bumping your head on the low-slung roof, wouldn't be an Italian car without an ergonomic quirk, right? The test car appears to be equipped with a full gamut of options, leather across the dash, carbon fiber trim breaking up the bovine bits, an Alcantara and leather-covered steering wheel, and the optional 8-speed automatic. Press the red engine start button on the steering wheel, and the pleasing thrum of the twin-turbocharged mill comes without any artificial enhancement. You'll need to pull the shifter down to choose first gear, but once moving, the Julia feels every bit like a sports car first and a sedan second. With a steering ratio of 11.8 to 1, which, Alpha says, is the quickest in the industry. The relationship between steering and body is highly direct, responsive, and intuitive, and the excellent steering feel builds a confident dynamic between driver input and vehicle response. The 8-speed transmission that is available on the Quadrifoglio and standard on the other versions shifts reasonably well in automatic mode, though shifts get jerkier when the big aluminum paddles are tapped. We also took a brief street drive in a 280 horsepower Julia T with Q4 all-wheel drive. The car was optioned with the Lusso package, giving it an attractive if more conventionally outfitted interior with light walnut trim and pale beige leather. The T's 18-inch wheels provide a far less punishing ride than the Quadrifoglio's 19s, but the more accessible model's main distinction primarily lies in its dramatically more usable power band. Thanks to the more well-rounded tire compound and all-wheel drive system, traction control is almost never triggered, allowing you to drive more aggressively and extract strong acceleration from the four-cylinder turbo engine. Alpha estimates a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of under 5.1 seconds, and in the real world, that is, wet, bumpy roads, that translates to progressive acceleration under medium throttle, and satisfying with strong pull when you goose it. It lacked the soul-stirring engine sounds and ultra-high performance feelings inspired by the top dog Quadrifoglio model, though. The Alfa Romeo Giulia has been eagerly awaited because it is such a dramatically different sports sedan proposition compared to the hot-rodded offerings from Audi Quattro, BMW M, and Mercedes AMG. Sure, it has usable rear seats and a trunk just like its competitors, but the full-blown Quadrifoglio version departs from the formula with its ultra-quick steering, focus on handling, and brand engine. And yes. Arriving late to the party has also enabled the feisty Italians to tune their mill so it's the gruntiest of the litter, barely edging out the AMG C63 Isis by a mere 2 horsepower. It may not be the most evolved, refined, or polished entry in this field, but the Alfa Romeo Giulia is perhaps the most entertaining and driver-centric of the bunch, making it well worth the wait for those who hope to stand apart from the crowd.